Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Persona 4, and today uh, we are going to finish the Void Quest. But first, I do need to kind of show you something, uh, what I've done. I mean, my money is pretty much all half dissipated because of what I've been doing, but uh, if you have a look, I made um, a new Persona, which is this guy. Now, the point of him... Or her, depending on what gender you think that is. I think personally, I think it's a female, uh, but that is a particularly strong persona, which I will then pass further down the line eventually. Um, I got wipe her back because I need that nice Rakunda, so I'm gonna assign her. So my setup is gonna be. Oh, I'll just show you. Easiest way to do it is to show you. So let's just go. Hmm, I sense imposter door. Let's go, boys. Look, there he is. You, Mitsuo, you better be ready to pay, you bastard. Wait, Kanji, something's not right. Everyone gets on my nerves. That's why I did it. What do you think of that? Say something, damn it! <sighs> Nobody even thought of me after the first two people. That's why I went for the third one. I killed them! <sighs> what are you all quiet for? Because I feel nothing. What are you talking about? Make sense, damn it! What the? Well, which one's the shadow? I have nothing. I am nothing. And you are me. What? What's that supposed to mean? I'm... I'm not nothing! No, if this keeps up... Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Damn it! Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! We came after you! Are you the killer? <laughs> of course I am! I'm the one behind everything! I don't give a damn what this imposter's saying! <laughs> you hear that? You have nothing to do with me! Get out of my sight! That goes for the rest of you, too! Why'd you chase me all the way here? I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! I can do it, you know. I can do anything! So you don't accept me? <sighs> what the... Damn it, here we go again! Get ready, everyone. Once we beat him, this case is as good as closed. There is a very specific way of how I like to do this. Basically what I'm going to have to do is cast Rekunda straight up. So you get that debuff going. Now what I want Kanji to do is, well that's not what I expected to happen to be honest. Um, I think I will get him to do a kill rush. Here goes. I will get Chie to... Buff Kanji. And I will get Ikiko to burn. Now this outer shell has um, a 1400 HP.
And he can attack twice. He doesn't do all that much damage, but still, he can be a bit of a threat if you are not prepared. So what we're gonna do now is Mind Charge. Alright, Kanji can just go in with this Yonka now. Doesn't really matter what we do. Because we are very good at this game. Winky face, alright. We got this. We've got this set up perfectly now. Alright, so straight up. Augie died. Should probably destroy this outer shell. Yeah, you can see why I'm doing this. Yep. That was well done. Alright, Kanji can just use his Ziyongo. And she can use Bufulo. And she will use Argolia, because nothing bad has happened yet. So that's... It's going pretty smoothly. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So don't use electricity. Sounds good. Uh, mind charge, I suppose. Very indecisive, but um, that shouldn't really make much of a difference. I think we'll just go for a cruel attack. Here goes. That's a shame. I'm gonna buff our MC now. Just so he does a lot of damage. And you can go for the Avalier. Good, we can elate that up. Nice. Alright, so now that I've mind charged and done that, we're gonna go for the Augie die and pray to god that it hits. Nice. Very well done indeed. Um probably go for a Kirosh again. Okay, nice, that did a nice hundred damage. Um go for a Buffalo. And an Aglier, and that and then he might rebuild his character, because he does do that. No, okay. Okay, yep. I know, I know, I'm not silly. We're gonna go mind charge again. We're just gonna keep off and on doing this, and we should be fine. We're gonna go for the um, kill rush again. Let's try and do as much damage as humanly possible. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. And Nagalio, and that should do a little bit of damage. It's pretty good. That's fine, because that doesn't get rid of my um, my judge. Okay, so now we go for the Argydine. This should do a reasonable amount of damage. There we go. Drops back down. Our enemy is down. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh wait, that didn't give me another turn. That's sad. All right. Well, I kind of should have taken that. But considering he's um got nothing really going on right now, I may as well do this. And after one more attack against us, I will heal with Yukiko, but there's not much point yet. Actually, I may as well while he's down, so... 
Let's go for them to diorama. Everyone should be snazzy now. He exists. That's that's shocking. Nice. No, I want you to be dead. Sorry if you didn't get that picture. All right. Mind judge. Yeah, this is not a very hard boss when you have this strat. I saw um a different YouTuber doing a bit of a different strat, which works as well, but it was much slower than this. I mean, look, he's almost almost dead already. This is Terry Kaja on year. This is gonna this is gonna wreck. I'm sorry. So we're gonna go for the other Leo and see what happens now. That's kind of sad. Please don't build the entire thing, that would be annoying. Yeah, he just did. Lots of annoying. Well, at least we can do a lot of damage. Yeah, we're still gonna wreck here. Agadine's gonna do a bit of damage. Yeah, that was about half of it. Now we're gonna um, try and set up with Quapo again. And just finish this boss off. If that works, if we can get rid of this guy as quickly as we want to. If not, I'll just cast another Agadine. Whilst we have that buff. Just do a nice 200, 300 damage. Oh, yay. I don't exactly know what exhaustion does, but... Eh. It's not too bad. Okay, so you just lose more SP at the end of every round. That's fine. I'm kind of at the stage where we can just wreck him anyway, so... I think we're gonna go before, yep, and hopefully that destroys it. Yep, we'll go for the all-out attack now. And then we'll try and get Yukiko to heal our stab. So when we use my charge, it doesn't drop back down, because we kind of want to beat him. Uh, we'll sedative do that. Okay. Not a Sigmar. Ooh. Alright. Oh no, I don't want to use that. We can save that. Yeah. Go with that. I'm fine with that. White wall. That's ice? I don't use ice. Did I use fire? Well, you just fucked up majorly. So we're gonna go with that mind charge. Um, Kanji can stop beating up. Here goes. And now Chia can buff us again, and wow, we are gonna wreck. Wow, that was the wrong way. Oh my gosh. Well, at least Yukiko will have a very strong attack now. Go for that was pretty bad. Thanks for the heal. No, thank you. That's not nice. Then you throw Oh my god. I hate you. I'm gonna go in with that Augie die now. Wow. Very good stuff right there. And I drop, uh, drop that revival bait on her. Hope for the best. She'll get up and we can go for the Bufula. This won't, I don't think we'll kill it this turn, but hopefully next turn, by the way we are looking, we're looking pretty good. I probably should have healed then, that would have been smart. Yeah, I got excited. Nice dodge. Yeah, we've got this. We've got this in the bag. 
Alright, Argy Dan. Yeah, I'm really low in health, but so is he, and so he should be able to die. Kanji should just go in with his Yango. Yeah, I know this is a very risky play. But it doesn't matter because if this connects, we win. Wow, that was. Come on, come on, kill it. <laughs> Please. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, can we please kill you? There we go. This a lot attack should finish you. I really hope so. Because I want you to die. There we go. That was not hard. Not at all. Finally awake, huh? You've been a major pain in our ass. What the... You guys... Who the hell are you guys? <gasps> the police are after you. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases... all on me. <laughs> That's right. I did it! You piece of shit! And not just that bastard Moraoka! That stupid announcer! And the Konishi bitch, too! I killed all of them! It was all me! Where'd it go? What's going on? <laughs> it's gone. That frickin' monster disappeared. Take that, son of a bitch! Hey! He's exhausted. We need to hurry and get him out of here. Where am I? Why am I here? What the hell are you guys? S stop it! Why did the TV... <sighs> hey! You seem confused from everything that happened, but we have a bunch of questions for you. First off, why did you do all this? Answer in ten words or less! <laughs> what the hell? Is that a costume? <laughs> well, the loser. Get out of my face, you freak. The freak? Gah! Hold it, Teddy. You're not helping. Get off my back. I already told you. I did it. Why? How could you do such a thing? Three people are dead because of you. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it, right? It's a huge deal, and I did it. All of it. All by my... You just wanted the attention? Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? <sighs> Whoa, look who it is. <laughs> hey, Yuki. After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit. Answer me. If you held a grudge against me, that's fine. 
But why the others? <laughs> what a joke. You're so desperate, it hurts. I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. You what? You gotta be kidding me. You killed Senpai over nothing? You son of a bitch! I hope you're ready to get what's coming to you. <laughs> what, you gonna kill me? Kanji-kun! Kill you? It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. You ain't gonna be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. <sighs> Why, damn it! Why does she have to die because of this bastard? <sighs> Dude, the cops. Huh? What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, you're right. Yosuke... <laughs> At least Adachi-san seemed happy. Well... I guess this means our work is done. He did it all to draw attention. I, I can't get my head around that. It's just wrong. I mean, not that it would have been okay if he'd had a better reason. I know. Don't worry. It's finally over. Let's leave the rest to the police. My world will be peaceful again now. Yeah, I'm happy for you. We really went through a lot. Like scoring with guys. Oh, come on! Will you ever let it go? What? Scoring with guys? Y you don't need to know the details. I'm sure you'd like us to forget the sauna incident, too. Right, Kanji-kun? Uh... W well... That's not fair. I wanted to see everyone else's, too. That's right. We three are the only ones who saw everyone's secret. Hey, so what was Yosuke's like? Come on, it's about time you told us. Come on, let's leave it at that. Speaking of which, nothing really happened in your case, huh? Really? Wait, really? Is there something special about Senpai after all? Sensei is the man! And now that the case is solved, we won't be calling you leader anymore, will we? Oh yeah, it's kind of sad. Hey, why don't we have a celebration? We always have a wrap party after we're done shooting. It's fun and it'll help give us some closure. A party! That sounds great! Let's go all out! Ooh, ooh! I, I wanna go to Yuki-chan's house! Gorgeous dinner, hot springs, table tennis, yukata, geisha, Fujiyama, full witness! You're right. Yukiko-senpai's family runs a hot springs inn. A hot spring that... Yukiko-senpai bathes in too? Hey, keep it to yourself. You're sounding like a creep. Well, it sounds like fun, but I don't think it's possible today. Yeah, it's summer vacation. All the rooms must be occupied. We can't do a sleepover. Maybe next time. I promise. Hey, why don't we hit your place instead? Oh, but will your uncle get suspicious? Like, why are you all celebrating? Great! Let's head over right away! Oh, 
Oh, yeah, if your uncle's a detective, he might not come home tonight. Nanako-chan might be getting hungry. Hey, then why don't we make dinner together? Wow, are you good at cooking, senpai? Well, sort of. What are you saying? Did you already forget the tragedy of the school camp out? We already told you that was an accident. She's right. We just got a couple of the ingredients wrong. Guys, please don't do this. I'm begging you. I don't need another trauma to deal with. Hey, I'm a good cook, too. I'll make something for you, senpai. Ta-da! Teddy has a great idea. Let's have a cooking battle. The winner will be crowned Iron Cook Inaba. A cooking battle? Now I'm even more worried. Sure, that sounds like fun. Aw, but I'll win hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? Dude, listen to me. For the sake of our stomachs, you have to cook something too. Help us, partner. You're our only hope. Then you can represent the guys' team. Nanako-chan will be our judge. I can be a taster, too. Teddy can be a tester, too. At the end, you're supposed to say, That was delicious! Right? Woo! I'm getting all fired up. All right, let us advance forth into the grocery section downstairs. Charge! Junez Grocery Department, you decided to call Nanako to tell her about the cooking comp. Hello, Dojima residents. Oh, hi. He said he's gonna be late today. Huh? Dinner? You're all going to cook? Ask Nanako-chan what she wants for dinner. She's just being modest. Ask her again. Well, um, an omelet. I want to eat omelet with fried rice. Okay, I'll be waiting. You ended the phone call. Nanako seems to be looking forward to it. Fried rice omelet. An excellent choice, Nanako-chan. With a dish that simple, I doubt we'll get a second helping of Mystery Food X! Huh? What's wrong? Not that thing. Alright, let's go get our ingredients. Uh, if they're all making the same thing, why are they splitting up to different parts of the market? Looks like you'll need all the help I can give you. Hey, what kind of omelet are you making? I'll go get the ingredients for you. You want to make an Asian American. Mainly because that's none of his favorites, Justice Pierre. Foie gras? Quite an eye you got there, senpai. It's a must have for my special omelet. Don't worry, I'll let you have a taste. Ooh, or maybe I could spoon feed you. <laughs> I heard last time you choked down something so awful that words couldn't describe it. It was horrible. You poor dears. Who would do such a horrible thing? Hurry, say san This is gonna be the only chance you get to gloat. Is that clear? I'll crush you with one strike. Whoa! You guys look like you're ready to enter the ultimate frying championship. Kanji-kun, that's alcohol! Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. Oh, by the way, where's Teddy? Miss, am I allowed to eat this? Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. You're such a nice lady. 
Is this one cooked already? <laughs> this one's ready too. Oh my, are you hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one too. You're so beautiful. Oh my, no, no I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. But I really want this meat, and I want you to cook it, miss. Oh, I couldn't possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'm gonna knock the stuffing out of that bear. Risa Chan was right. This celebration does make me feel like it's over. The case really has come to an end. <sighs> wow! It's really Risa Chan! I should go back over there soon. Are you going somewhere? Yep. Guys kept their promise. A promise, huh? What if you made a promise with me? Could you stay then? A promise with Nana-chan? Um, a promise that you'll play with me. How about that? Sensei, you kept your promise with me. So I should go back over there. But a promise is a promise. It's not good to break them. Sensei! My promise with Nana-chan. I made a promise to play with her. Can I really stay here? It wasn't just my promise. Nana-chan made it with me. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. Teddy's eyes are watering. The Teddy social link has reached level 4. Your power to create personas with the star arcana has grown. Yosuke, I have a new promise to keep. So I want to stay here a little longer. Is that okay with you, sir? Huh? What are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. You can't just quit your job like that. In any case, if you left... It's a wrap! Asking Nanako-chan to jump in and try these for us is kinda... unethical. Don't look at us like that! <laughs> oh... So it's our job to taste it first. Make sure we can keep it down. Hey, that's mean! Then try mine first, Yosuke-senpai! It's guaranteed delicious! You don't mind me going first? Actually, I've been looking forward to yours. I mean, Rizette cooked it herself. Can you imagine how many guys would kill me if they found out? Well then, chow time! I... I... can't give this to Nanako-chan. Ooh, it's so delicious that you won't let anyone else have a bite? In any case, you should try eating it too. Oh no. It's spicy. The spiciness and heat are like lava in your mouth. You can't taste or feel the foie, foie gras at all. It's starting to taste like iron. For some reason, you sense a dull pain in your mouth as well. You can't get this to Nanako. Here, try mine next. I'll take this one. 
kanji. That's a lot. Hey, say something. Well, uh, how do I put this? It tastes really, um, boneless? What? That's not a word you use to describe taste. Does it taste good or not? Tell me. It doesn't seem to be dangerous, but you don't sense any flavors in particular. In fact, you don't taste anything at all. You can't even taste the ingredients. How could this be? Not good. Uh, that's for sure. It tastes like... Like I'm eating plain oatmeal. It's pretty impressive that you put so many ingredients into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. Your palate just isn't refined enough. I think it tastes good. <sighs> Naniko-chan. Okay, try mine next. Uh, I don't know about this, but I, I think it'll taste good. This time, for sure. I'll give it a whirl. How is it? Wow! This tastes awful! <laughs> <laughs> you have to try this, Yosuke! Dude, not after you say that. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. It does taste awful. Well, um, it's a huge improvement over the curry. Yeah, thanks for the consolation. I feel so much better. I think this tastes good, too. Nanako-chan! Oh, yeah, they're right. They're totally right. It tastes <laughs> awful. <laughs> then try Risei-chan's. I bet you anything mine tastes better than hers. Senpai? Sure enough. One strike. <laughs> well, Yukiko and Chie's didn't taste good either, but at least theirs didn't cause any casualties. <laughs> it's a taste too subtle for kids. It's a mature flavor. You guys are just kids. I... I... Mature person in this room. Crocodile tears. Oh yeah, didn't you make one too, senpai? You did? Oh. <sighs> this is really good. You never had an omelet with fried rice this good. <sighs> it's amazing. The omelette seems to be a big success. She's eating it extremely cheerfully. Are you full, Nanako-chan? We're still starving. If you're so hungry, then help yourself to an awful tasting omelette. Hm. Uh, I have a suggestion. You guys know about the festival they're holding in the shopping district, right? Why don't we all go? Oh, that sounds good. Whoa. Does that mean the girls will be wearing yukata? A festival? We'll bring Nanako-chan along, too. it then 
festival food always tastes great for some reason. Even if it ain't anything fancy. Whew. We'll finally be able to get some edible food for once. You promised the others you'd go to the festival of the shopping district. The culprit has finally been caught. The rest is up for the police and your crew. The festival is on August 20th. You made sure not to forget this date. All you can do for now is wait for the police to make them move. What do you do today? Well, today, I think what I'm going to do is thank you all so much for watching. Please have a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you, and goodbye.